How's it going? Welcome to, uh, I think day 22. Yes, day 22. I don't know why I'm so confused about the days. It's literally the like the last couple days and I'm still getting them confused, but I wanted to sit down today and talk about something. I mean, the title probably says one thing, but it, I'm probably, the meaning is more different than probably what it seems. Uh, but today I kind of want to talk about the importance of confidence and self-love, if you will. Which is weird because a lot of times that's something I lack. However, during the holiday season, I was really trying to work hard on improving this, especially with starting the YouTube series that I've been doing. If I was just completely lacking in confidence, it'd be really hard to do something like this, which I do lack a lot of confidence, but I've been trying, again, to get better. So that's why it's been a little bit easier. But with self-love and self-confidence, uh, I think during the holidays, not only is it important to get to people you love gifts with like, as I the video before, how to be a gifted gifter, but I think it's also important to maybe get yourself something nice every Christmas, which luckily a lot of people I've been close to have been doing that recently. I know a lot of my friends are like, oh, I got this for myself for Christmas and I got this for myself for Christmas, which is really good. However, I feel like some people, including myself, like a couple months, like a month ago, didn't really think about that. A lot of times during the holiday season, you're so focused on what other people are gonna get rather than like, you know, what can be good for you. And that's both physical and metaphorical if that makes sense so not only should you get maybe yourself a nice thing like oh i've been wanting a camera for a long time or i've been wanting to get some a workout equipment thing or i want to you know have been wanting to get this video game or something like that but also in the sense of i've been wanting to work on my confidence or i've been wanting to work on this and just internalizing that and trying to really improve i think especially for me over the past like couple years i've been trying really hard to improve myself i'm rambling <laughs> basically though I'm gonna be talking about the more physical stuff today about what I got myself for Christmas uh, when thinking, you know, what I wanted. I got myself a few things. I can't really show much of it <laughs> because they're all kind of things that I've been using a lot, including for the videos. So it's not like I can just like show them on like, you know, on camera. So I'm just gonna talk about them. <laughs> so the first thing I want to talk about, which is probably pretty obvious, is the camera that I got myself. And when starting to think about the YouTube series, like in the very, very basic, like when it was first an idea in my head, one of the major things that was kind of holding me back was the fact that most of it would have to be filmed with my phone, which don't get me wrong, I have a Pixel phone, so it has really good camera quality. Even for videos, I think it's really good, but the, I mean, the camera's where this phone shines. But then after really sinking myself into editing the like week prior to starting the, the series, I realized that I was really invested in this and that gave me the confidence to say, you know what, it'll be okay if I buy this. Also, Olive is moving next to me if you couldn't see that. <laughs> it's probably really obvious at this point that I baby my dog. You can't see it, but I'm petting her on the head off screen. But back to the topic at hand, uh, I decided that it'd be really something that I could use a lot and be really useful to me to get a camera. So I started looking into it, which I had been looking for like years over different types of cameras. But now that I was seriously invested, I kind of grabbed the options that I had picked out over the years and sat them down and compared them. Actually, one of the biggest cameras on the market when I was considering cameras was the Sony ZV-1. Especially for video making, it's it's considered to be one of the better cameras or one of the best cameras in 2020. So I actually really heavy, heavily considered that one. The only big issue with that was the price. So when thinking about it, I was like, that was my biggest thing was, I was willing to pay a little bit you know, more for a camera, but I didn't want to sacrifice my entire budget considering that I was doing this big series soon anyway, that was going to cost a lot of money. So that was something I also had to consider was, was it in my budget really to get a really, really, really expensive camera when I already had to buy all these other things. But the camera I actually ended up settling for, settling? It's not, it's not, I wasn't settling. The one I decided to get was the Canon M50. I really like this camera, not only for the video quality, but also, again, I really like photography and I always am in like the car, like when it's a really nice sunset and I'm like, I'm the type of person that was like sitting and looking out the window, like that would be such a nice picture right there. But I never have like a really nice camera to take it. Again, I have a nice phone so I can kind of take it, but in terms of zooming and stuff like that, it lacks features. But the Canon M50 has that. Not only this, but also I feel like just, there was a lot going for this. The price was slightly better, I think. It came in a kit, so I have a really nice microphone for it as well. There was just a lot of things that I ended up was like, this is the one I want. And so I got the Canon M50 for myself as my first little gift thing. The next thing that I got, I always like cringe when I talk about these things. Um, but it was a K-pop album and you might be like, a K-pop album, why is that embarrassing? I got myself four this Christmas season actually. They're actually, my album shelf is here if you've never seen it. But yes, I got myself those albums. Not really a huge thing, but I really enjoy them. I like listening to music a lot, so I got those as well. 
Uh, and then the next thing, this probably sounds really cliche and really cheesy that I'm about to say this, but it is truly what I got myself this season, which was the stuff for the videos, and not only that, but like, I also kind of considered the gifts that I got people this year to be slightly for myself, which sounds really bad the way I put it. You know, I, I don't know, there's just a lot of meaning behind those, so I also consider those something that I, like, even though they're for other people, and even though I probably won't ever see them again, I really, like, those are something that I can just, like, have fun making and get to see the people's reactions, if that makes sense, so... That's, that's the last thing I got, was just stuff for other people. <laughs> Which, now that I think about it, probably defeats the whole purpose of this video that I'm like, yeah, this is stuff I got for myself, but, um, it's for other people, <laughs> but you know, it, it works, kind of, I guess. Um, but yes, hopefully you'd enjoy. I realize that's what I say at the end of the video. It's kind of a trademark at this point that I say, like, the same five things every video, but hopefully you'd enjoy. Uh, I'll be back for day 23, and also, I should probably mention at the- I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning so that people aren't annoyed with me, but I actually didn't really want to make this video. It, it, I thought it was kind of, like, weird that I- it, it seemed like I was almost flexing. However, the reason I made this video, uh, actually was because the next two videos are- kind of have, like, this funny wordplay to them. So if you line the three videos up, it makes more sense, but this is gonna just seem like a really weird video on its own. But hopefully you did enjoy, <laughs> and I'll be back for day 23. Bye bye